Optician Lesson 2, Refractive Errors and Conditions. And these are the things that we're going to cover over this lesson two. And these six are the top uh, refractive errors and conditions you're going to find as an optician. Myopia, nearsightedness. Hyperopia, farsightedness. Astigmatism, blurry vision. Presbyopia, age-related farsightedness. Emetropia, and anisometropia. Myopia, nearsightedness. People who are nearsighted see close-up objects in better focus than distant objects. This happens because light stops before hitting the retina. So if we can see in this picture, light is coming in, goes through the cornea and the lens, but instead of hitting the retina right here, like in correct way, it hits just before the retina causing faraway objects to be blurry and near objects to be fine. So for example, it is easy for them to read a page that's only a few inches away, but nearly impossible for them to read the same page if it is held two feet away. Nearsightedness typically becomes evident in childhood or teen years. Kids or adults who are nearsighted may squint suffer from frequent headaches, hold books close to their faces, and insist on sitting very close to the TV because they can't see the TV perfectly if they're sitting even just 10 feet away. Or in hard cases, strong cases, five feet away. The eyeglass prescription that's prescribed to such patients is minus powered glasses or contact lenses, which let light can focus farther back on the retina, helping them see faraway objects better. There is surgery available. Uh, it's refractive surgery, which reshapes the cornea and helps the same as glasses. It's important to note, though, that myopes can have problems seeing near objects too. It's just that they have more problems seeing distant objects. Hyperopia, farsightedness. Farsighted people used to see distant objects like a street sign more easily than they can see up close objects like reading. This happens because light goes past the retina. So this is this is normal or through the process of accommodation, which we'll learn momentarily. And this is hyperopic eye, which is farsighted. So light goes behind the retina and not directly on it as normal vision is. For example, they can see a street sign more easily than they can read a book. Um, eyeglass prescription per prescribed to such patients is plus powered glasses or contact lenses that can correct hyperopia by causing light to bend sooner and strike the retina correctly, helping them see near objects better. Process of accommodation. In people with mild hyperopia, the focus muscles around lens help focus by bringing back light so it hits the retina correctly. So behind the, after the cornea, behind the iris, there's lens, as you can see right here in the lens right here. And uh, what happens is there's muscles around the lens, this, these two, and those are your focus muscles. They can bring back the light that goes past in a hyperopic eye they can bring back the light um, through process of accommodation as we see here. This is a natural process um, without glasses. But as we age, this these muscles wear out and the lens gets harder as we'll read more about this in another condition, press biopia. 
surgery for hyperopic patients is available refractive surgery which reshapes the cornea and helps the same as glasses it's important to note just like myops hyperops can also have problems seeing both distant objects and near objects it's just that they have more problems seeing near objects an optician tip to tell glasses difference between nearsighted and farsighted people is that people who are myopic which is nearsighted wear minus powered lenses and their eyes look a little smaller or minified people who are hyperopic farsighted wear plus powered lenses and their eyes look a little larger or magnified the stronger the power of the glasses the more noticeable this difference is astigmatism blurry vision this is blurry vision at all distances far and near the why does it happen because the cornea is not spherical like a basketball instead it is like a football from one side making it more curved in one direction than in the direction perpendicular to it astigmatism is typically present at birth but it may get worse or better over time many people have a small amount of astigmatism and people with very mild astigmatism probably won't even notice that they have a problem this is a great video on astigmatism that i'll play momentarily I'll let you guys go over this if you get the notes. Breast biopia, age-related farsightedness. Age-related condition that shows symptoms of not being able to see up close or above age 40. So this is a condition of farsightedness that usually shows up at age 40 or above. This happens because, as mentioned briefly above, I, either the muscles around the lens tire out and can perform process of accommodation, or the lens themselves become hardened um, and can perform process of accommodation, which is bringing light that hits behind the retina back. It cannot be, can it be avoided? It cannot be avoided because this is part of natural aging which shows up usually around age 40. Examples of limitations. You start holding books or pill bottles at arm's length so you can read the text and you may develop eye strain. You're also likely to notice blurring when you transition between different viewing distances. Eye prescription for this. Uh, in mild cases, this can be fixed with normal reading glasses, but as they age, they might need stronger and stronger glasses. And if patient has myopia, which is nearsightedness, also, then they might need bifocals that handle nearsightedness and farsightedness. Metropia. You are lucky if you have a metropia because that just means that the eye and cornea are perfectly spherical and the rays of light hit the retina perfectly, giving you perfect vision. Anisometropia is people whose eyes have different refractive powers. A condition of anisometropia that you for sure need to know is one eye is better and more dominant than the other, making one eye lazy. So this is like the lazy eye condition. Amblyopia occurs when the brain can't take the two different resized images from each eye and fuse them into one image. It solves this problem by occasionally or continuously shutting off the image from one eye. As a result, one eye will be able to see clearly with prescription glasses and the other eye 
even though it has prescription glasses in front of it, will be unable to see clearly. This condition affects two or three in every hundred children. So you'll see it especially often if you work in a pediatric vision clinic. Kids with this problem may have trouble reading and doing schoolwork, and it may be hard for them to even play sports. As you can imagine, everything is better with two eyes and not one lazy eye. How to treat if mild, it can be lived with. Some people live with it and sometimes they have the lazy eye and sometimes they don't. But if it is strong, they need surgery. So in this video, we learned about myopia, nearsightedness, hyperopia, astigmatism, breast biopia, age-related farsightedness, hematropia, and anisometropia. I'll leave the links to the notes below and please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you found it useful and want to tune into lesson three. Thank you.